Hi, Tom. Hi, Sierra. Hi. How Hi, are you? How are you? I'm good. Um, both of your performances in this is just outstanding. I mean, there's some really dark elements to this movie, but it was such an enjoyable watch, even though there were some really hard things to look at. Um, Tom, you said that you are so proud of this movie. What made this experience so special for you? Oh, loads of things. I mean, from from the workload and from, from how hard we both pushed ourselves and what we achieved, I think from the relationships and the friendships that we made on set, um, the experiences as well. I mean, like making this film was crazy. I mean, the things that the, we had to do and the emotional places we had to go to, um, it, it was an incredible experience and one that I look back on so fondly. If I ever watch the film, I kind of look at it and I'm like, I can't believe we actually did that. <laughs> but then also remembering, like, not only remembering what we did on set, but then what we did afterwards. It's like, how yeah. did we make that? <laughs> how did we make How did we have that? so much fun and make one of the hardest films to watch ever? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, when you have an especially hard day on set emotionally, I can imagine there were several of those days, what would be something that you would kind of gravitate towards to put you back in a happy place? Or did you sort of stay in that the whole filming? It'd kind of be each other, wouldn't it really? I mean, if we were having so. a moment, we would kind of lean on each other and, and, and we'd help each other out. Obviously the Russos are very good at creating a very fun atmosphere on set. So, you know, we were always able to kind of step away from the emotion, but I think what, for me, my most valued ally was Sierra because we were there together on almost every day. And, uh, yeah. you know, it was like a safety blanket. Yeah, I also feel like, you know, you were the other person on set who knew exactly what I was going through and like where we mm. had to be. So it was nice to to have that, you know, and know that yeah. the other person there was going to support you through all of it. But also I feel like the brothers really prioritized family time, I guess I would call it, you know, mm. going out for dinners afterwards, ways to decompress, yeah. but also keeping a sort of light tone on set so that we could come up for a breath of air, you know, once we called cut. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, Sierra, what is it about Tom? You know, his character doesn't always make the best decisions, but what is it about Tom that makes him so darn charming throughout all of this, <laughs> even during the dark moment? <laughs> yeah, Sierra, why am I so darn charming? <laughs> No, I think what makes Cherry, the character, so charming and so likable is Tom as a human being. Like, that's that's what it is. And this is obviously why the brother, brothers brought you onto it, because they're smart and they recognize that. It's like, it's impossible to not like Tom. You just have the biggest heart oh. of anyone I've ever met. Not to make it weird, via Zoom, after... <laughs> it's not weird. My heart is beating. <laughs> Um, but it's true. You're an extraordinarily kind person and an absolute blast to be around. And I think that that shows on camera and it's why this, this movie works. Mm. Um, Tom, how physically demanding and challenging was this role for you? Obviously you lost weight, but there are scenes, especially in the car where I read that you almost broke your nose. There was a quite, um, uh, it was the scene in the car where you were stabbing yourself in your leg. Was that the scene? Yes, that was the scene. And I didn't nearly break my nose. I just bang my it was I just bang myself um yeah. but I remember like it was it's interesting the Russos are so caring and they're kind of like our older brothers is the way I would describe our relationship and I remember them coming to the to the car window to give me a note and I turn around to look at them and there's blood all down my front and they both of them were like whoa 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 are you okay I said yeah I'm fine I said well listen I know you should probably go see a doctor but this looks really good so if you wouldn't mind if we go again, I was like, that's fine. Just roll the cameras as it go. The longer you wait, the more blood is coming out my notes. Um, so, so yeah, it was physically demanding, but you know, we're telling the story that represents millions of people around the world. So we had a yeah. responsibility to do justice to them. So whenever something was hard, whenever something was difficult, painful, uncomfortable, it felt right because we could only experience a smidge of what people go through in the real life. Um, so whatever we could do to try and tap into that was uh, incredibly helpful. Yeah, Tom, I have to ask, I know you've already said this, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield are not in Spider-Man 3, but is there a chance you just didn't see a part of the script, they left something out? Well, it'd have to be a pretty large bit of the script that they left out. I have read what seems to be a beginning, middle and an end. Um, but, uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they keep things from me because everyone knows that I can't keep a secret. Um, but, but no, I can say that they are not in this film. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much. Um, I'm 
congratulations on the film. It's it's uh, it was really fantastic to watch. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you, Morgan. Bye. Appreciate nice it. talking to you.